eventually aid their operational performance as well. Okay, well, Sonia, you're also watching Landmark Cars. Yes, it had a disappointing debut, Landmark Cars. So, um, the car stock listed at a discount of almost 7% uh, at 471 rupees. It's even lower now at 457. Uh, the issue price, remember, was 506 rupees a share. Now, um, this the business is quite decent if you look at it. The IPO was subscribed well. In fact, if you look at it, uh, it's a leading premium automotive dealership in India. It's a number one dealer in India for Mercedes, Honda and Jeep. And it has a network of 112 outlets, 59 sales showrooms. It also has a commercial vehicle dealership. So the dealership business has been doing well over the last many years. Um, it does not only uh, sales of new vehicles, but it provides after-sales services, sales of pre-owned passenger vehicles. And a couple of positives of the company, it uh, turned profitable in FY21. The sales, uh, the revenues, if you look at it, have seen a compounded growth of almost 16% over FY20 to 22. And the margin profile has also improved. It now sitting at about 6% margins compared to just 3% in FY20. Some of the negatives, which perhaps is uh, one of the reasons why the stock is under pressure. One is that a large portion of the business is concentrated in two states, which is Gujarat and Maharashtra. So diversification perhaps is the need of the hour or geographic expansion. They are also seeing increased competition from dealers and unauthorized service centers. Uh, the margins earned from the services as well as the repair vertical is something that could be impacted by some pricing guidelines that have been set by OEMs. And in terms of valuations as well, there's no great upside because the stock is valued, is trading at 28 times PE as of FY22. It has no comparable listed peer, so we can't compare it. But still, at 28 times, uh, most brokerages believe that it is highly valued and hence the stock is under pressure. ICS Securities recently put out a note where they said that this business of auto dealerships is growing at a very fast pace. In fact, as per Crystal's research, the premium segment of passenger vehicles is expected to grow at a compounded rate of 10 to 12 percent over FY22 to 27, while the luxury segment is expected to grow at 14 to 6, 16 percent compounded. So yes, growth uh, prospects are there, but there's no valuation headroom and hence uh, the stock is under pressure. All right, Sonia, thanks a lot for that. That explains why Landmark is down almost 9.5%. Uh, no valuation comfort coming in despite growth opportunities being there. In fact, we spoke with the management this morning as well, and they said that, you know, it's the after-sales maintenance repair sort of services business which is growing at a 20% compounding for them, and that is a business which has about 40% margin. So how that grows also is something that we will monitor. But uh, let's uh, step into a short break. On the other side, we'll be joined by Nitya Balasubramanian of Stanford Bernstein for an outlook on the pharmaceutical sector because that is the only sector which is uh, doing well today.